I can honestly say getting up early has changed my life. I've been getting up between 5 and 6 a.m. for the last couple of years now. This has allowed me to prioritise what is important to me. That means moving my body first thing. Either with Pilates or more gentle yoga, depending on my energy levels. This is followed by meditation. I found it more difficult to be consistent with meditating and still find it a challenge and often find excuses to skip it. However, when I do make time for it, I really feel the benefit. It puts me in a peaceful mindset for the rest of the day. I have the same breakfast every morning. I just love porridge. I soak my oats overnight and add chia seeds then so that it swells to be more of a pudding consistency. Then I add my toppings in the morning once I've warmed up. Now that it's autumn, I've switched these and I'm now putting apple in and topping it with cinnamon for that autumnal feel. I'm enjoying this breakfast even more now that the mornings are cooler again. I try and read throughout the day and often squeeze in a few pages in the morning before I take out Sky for her walk. Getting outside first thing is a blessing.
we are lucky to have trails that we can walk straight to from our tiny home. Peaceful riverside walks and beautiful forests. All thriving with nature. I've never actually baked cinnamon swirls before. Um, well, bake's probably a strong word, as you saw, I pretty much just unwrapped it, <laughs> cut it up and put it in the oven. So it was really, really super easy. I haven't tried one yet, but I'm gonna have one with a cup of tea in a wee bit. Um, but yeah, I just thought being autumn now, it's a nice autumnal thing to have. So I thought I'd have a go at baking them. Um, I certainly don't bake every morning. Um, I sometimes do some food prep though in the mornings like for my dinner later in the day I just like to get ahead and then it means I'm more likely to eat healthier if I've already cut the vegetables for instance um, in the morning but yeah I'm so excited for it to be autumn now autumn mornings and winter mornings are my favorite although they're a bit slower I really do enjoy that you know in the summer um, although it's still pretty light in the mornings now it's definitely much darker than it was and in the summer I always feel the need you know you're waking up and it's already really bright and I need to dash out the door and go on an adventure with the dog which is great and I really enjoy that and some definitely some upsides but I'm craving those kind of darker mornings where you can't really go out that early so it means I take my time with my yoga or I read a little bit longer with a cup of tea and it's really nice and cozy so I thought I'd show that to you guys today but yeah, I think for me, having a morning routine, um, and particularly it being early in the morning, means that I can just get so much more done and I can prioritise things that are important to me. This brand, for instance, I'm not sure it would have happened without that. So when I was back working full time, so my job as a wildlife conservationist, I really used my mornings to get ahead on blogging in particular and doing some like photo editing. Otherwise I'd have to cram it all in into the weekends or in the evenings and I'm not really an evening working kind of person. So yeah, I think it's made a massive difference. It also means that I can work out regularly. If I don't work out in the morning, I won't work out. That's just, <laughs> what happens. I do have quite a chilled evening routine, maybe I'll show that to you guys as well um, one day if, you, if you'd like to see it. But yeah, I think you don't need to get up at 5am to have a morning routine. You can get up at whatever time you get up and maybe just having a few things that make you feel happy, that make you like, you know, start your day in a good mindset is, is so valuable. Um, but yeah, I thought I would Show, show you guys. I've had this for a very long time now. It took me a while. It did take me a while to get up at 5 a.m. or 5, 5.30, whatever time I get up. It took, you know, basically, I just did it steadily. You know, I used to get up probably at about, I don't know, seven, maybe on a work day. So I'd gradually start, you know, going backwards and backwards in terms of like how early I get up. Also, it was my job. So during a couple of weeks in the springtime, I'm getting up super, super early to do some bird surveys. So I get up at 4 a.m. latest, it's like between three and 4 a.m. And I remember the first time I did that, I was like, ah, oh, this is horrendous. But actually, the second time I was like, you know what? How lovely is it to wake up, because I wake up in the forest, pre-dawn, get to see the sunrise in the spring, which is just gorgeous, and get like a lot of things done before the world's even woken up. I was like, hmm. So it got me thinking. So after that, I was like, okay, maybe not 3, 4 a.m., but 5 a.m. 5 a.m. sounds doable. Even 6 a.m., you still, I still feel like I'm getting up and getting on with my day. So yeah, doing it gradually, 
putting healthy habits in place so I charge my phone outside the bedroom. I actually charge my phone in the kitchen, which means when my alarm goes off, because you can hear it because I live in a tiny home, I have to get up, go downstairs and get to the kitchen to turn it off. <laughs> and then you're up, you know, and my yoga mat's ready, my workout clothes are ready. It's all the things you always hear, but just making it as easy as possible and knowing why you're doing it. I think they're the sort of two things I recommend if you do want to set up a morning routine gap earlier, you know, why do you want to do it? hold that close you know do it for you do it for something that's important to you and remind yourself of that and make it as easy for as yourself as possible and reward yourself like this morning you know I was like oh if I get up early I have time to make cinnamon rolls before you know I have to get on with work and I can have them with a cup of tea so it was even extra incentive plus it was beautiful so I knew knew it was going to be a nice morning and I was absolutely desperate to get out because I'm just yeah so excited for it to be autumnal again anyway that's me. Thank you very much for joining me and keeping me in my company this morning. Um, I'll probably be doing some more stuff in my newsletter, so I'm going to be coming out with tomorrow, if I'm that organised, my autumn favourites and autumn recommendations. So if you're not already subscribed, I'll leave a link to that below so you can catch that. But if not, I will see you guys next week.